Hello everyone, welcome back to another UMI tutorial. This time we're going to focus on operational energy in UMI. This module allows you to calculate the operational energy use for all buildings in your UMI bundle. And the underlying simulation engine that is used is a version of Energy Plus that uses the shoeboxer approach. It breaks up your building into two different zones. You have the perimeter zone and a core zone with a facade and potentially also a skylight. These shoeboxes can be visualized in UMI, but if you want more detail on that, you can go to the shoebox paper that has been published on the lab webpage. I also left a link to that in the description below. To begin, you want to open up your Rhino file and go into the modules tab to access the operational energy use module. By clicking on run simulation, you will be redirected to this window that pops up. And it also gives you the information of the total number of buildings in your simulation. Here, the number of buildings with operational energy use data is at 16. That is because I already ran the simulation before. You can simulate in batches, which I'll get to in a second. But more importantly, there are three different ways how you can run the simulation. First, by simulating selected buildings, or you select all of the buildings, the ones that have not operational energy use results, or you delete all of the operational energy results and you simulate all buildings in one go. So by pressing running the simulation, you will see that depending on the size of your project, this might take longer or not. In this case, there are not that many buildings, so it should be faster than usual. And as you can see, the different buildings will take on different colors depending on the amount of operational energy use, which can be changed in the false color settings on the right. The building, the tallest one, is an office building and therefore the operational energy use is going to be higher compared to the retail building that is only one story high, depending on the building template, the floor area and also the window to wall ratio. Next up is the option to simulate all buildings without existing operational energy results. However, because we just ran the simulation, UMI will then tell you there is nothing to simulate. And the third option is if you only want to have information on specific buildings and their operational energy use, you can use the third feature, which is simulate selected buildings. So by selecting them, the UMI module will now only run the simulation for those specific buildings. And as you can see, because we already ran a simulation before, this has already been done, but you can still run it essentially. What UMI does in all of these simulations is that it simulates in batches. The number of buildings per batch can be defined. And if you have a large model with buildings that go beyond the thousands, a good batch size is around 50 buildings. What is also important to mention is that the batches extend across buildings with the same template. In addition, especially if you have larger projects, you can pause the simulation and UMI will stop after the current batch that is being simulated. So if you close UMI and you reopen it at a later stage during the day, for example, you can continue running the simulation at exactly that same point where you left off. One important thing to mention is that the colors of the individual buildings will change throughout the simulation. So the accurate false coloring results will only appear when the simulation has finished. With regards to visualizing these results, you can also use other categories aside from the total energy, such as, for example, equipment, heating, cooling, etc., to visualize which buildings are consuming a lot of energy, depending on which category. And based on the minimum and maximum false color range that you can define here, you will also be able to get more nuanced results. For example, if you'd like to see the lighting results visualized, you would click on false color selected and you would instantly get the visualized results of which buildings consume the most energy. Here we instantly see that the office buildings consume the most on lighting compared to the residential ones that are left dark blue. When visualizing the heating results, you will instantly see that all of the residential buildings have now increased in operational energy. When looking at the cooling loads, you will instantly see that all residential buildings have low cooling loads compared to the office buildings that have higher operational energy consumption. 
And these are just some examples of how you can visualize and analyze your own simulations.